Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, our cross-continental America series. Today you are joining us back on our brand new train, which has just left the depot. If we follow this, it's the IC Houston to Atlanta via Montgomery. Now in the last episode, unfortunately, for some reason, when it got to Houston, this train used the wrong platform and got stuck. So I've sold it and, uh, and then bought another one. And uh, maybe it's because it's train 13, it's uh, an unlucky number. Uh, but yeah, I've sold it, bought another one, and we've sent it from the depot again. What are you doing? You've got a, oh, you've got a fair amount of passengers on board. Uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, bought another one, and uh, hopefully this shall go in on the right platform. I have absolutely no idea why it didn't go in on the right platform, because we actually looked at the platform numbers, didn't we, and what was due in on what, and it was all fine. So we'll just speed this up to get him into the station for now. And, uh, and just see if he behaves himself, because otherwise uh, we do have a problem on our hands. We've got a lot of passengers waiting down there, and I say a lot of passengers, what I mean is we haven't really got many at all. But it's nice to think that we might have a lot waiting. There we go, look, that one's actually done. Oh, that's the RE1, never mind. Full. Full already. Flipping heck. That's just mental, isn't it? Um, I was going to say that's the, uh, that's the other intercity one, isn't it? But it's not. What have we got going on here? A couple of horse and carts. For goodness sake, get with the times, guys. It's 1910. Get yourself a car. Treat yourself. Come on, go left. Why are you not going left? Oh, no. Why is this happening? Why are you doing this to me? It's because of reasons. Right, okay. Oh, that's so annoying. Why would you do that? Stupid train. I think it's because he wants to go in down here and he can't physically get there. So, uh, right, we'll, well, we'll have to make him a route then, won't we? Um, seeing as he can't think for him, he's blithering himself. Right, uh, can, we, can we get you to there? We can, too much curve. Oh, we can just about squeeze you in there, it's ugly. Oh no, there's catenary. Right, I don't want catenary just yet. So we haven't got any electric trains to run, have we? So there's no point splashing out on that. Uh, right, okay, can we, can we squeeze... A bit of track in here. Too much curvature. Yeah, yeah, you're not for that, are you? You're not in favour. But we could put a crossover in there. Now that is feasible. Right. How are you feeling about going the other way now? Turn around. Yep. Oh, you're off. You like it. So you can actually... Yeah, that's that's good. As long as he doesn't want to go via the, via the doodah. Because he won't be able to, will he? Ah, no, that's fine. Right, so he's off to Montgomery. That'll be why. So he wanted to go in on this platform. Why did you want to go in on that platform, for crying out loud? Have I put the wrong train on on this platform? What, what on earth's happening now? Right, so we've got the RE1 and the RE2. So at Houston, you're going in on platform... Yeah, so the RE1 goes in here. Sensible. The RE2... Ah, right, so you can go in, you're going in on there, but you can go in on all the rest of them, right, okay. So what about the RE, uh, the Intercity one? That's fine, yeah, okay, happy with that. You can go in on every platform, so what we'll do at Houston is we'll just tick that you can go in on 3, 4, and 5 as well. I mean, you technically can go in on platform 1 now. That's got a double slip, so you can actually go in on one and two as well. So we'll, uh, yeah, for a bit of extra extra capacity, we'll take them all. But platform four, if you can aim for that, that will be lovely. Same as this, right, this chap here, platform six. No, that's just silly. This is why we've had all the problems. And you, can, But you can also go in on all of them if you so fancy. Oh, hang on. Why can you get into that platform, but for some reason nobody else can? I mean, you can. You, you just can. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can't get from Montgomery to 5 and 6. Of course you can. You, you come down here. You go across. And then you go across again. And then you go across again. Easy peasy. What are you moaning about? Montgomery. Round. Yeah. Everything's fine. Quit your whining. Also, people were complaining about this, because it's, because it's there, but it's just there, I'm afraid, it's just there to stay. Right, take you off five and six then, if you're going to whinge. RE2, what are you kicking off about? 
Houston Holt could not connect all terminals. Why are you... Right, so three and four for some reason you... Um, this flipping game. Right, okay, yep, that's fine. And then Jacksonville to Tallahassee. People were whinging that, uh, that, that I've broken this. Ah, right, yeah, I've broken this, haven't I? Because I was building that brand new swanky section of road. Yeah, they were all upset because there was a red flashing thing. I personally don't notice it. You know, I'd, I'd just completely ignore it. And it's fine. Right, there we go. Right, we'll get, get you in there. And then that's not solved the problem. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll get rid of this wiggly road again. Because, you know, we, we are Americans here. We do not suffer wiggly roads. We have straight, fast... Yeah, fast roads. Ah, that is a straight road. Look at that. Straight as it can be. And there are now no warnings. There we go. Are we all happy with that now? Can we all uh, can we all take a deep breath? We can take our heads out of the paper bags that we were hyperventilating into and we can all breathe. Now, what we need to do is actually get more goods going around here. So we have actually got some food to Birmingham, which is excellent. We've got some bricks to Atlanta as well as food. We could do with getting a bit more going. Um, I mean, grain-wise, this is this is full. How much have we got? Seventy-nine. Right. Let's let's get more vehicles on the road, chaps. Eight, nine, ten. Another ten. Right. So we've got forty vehicles on that flipping heck. That is a lot of vehicles. But we need to get it moving. Montgomery, I want you to be quite big, despite the fact that I have bulldozed all of you, and I've actually made it so that now we will only ever have commercial in Montgomery. Because I've deleted everything else. Why have we got numbers on here? What's what's this mean? What does the number? Oh! Oh, right, so there's been an update. So transport is high. Ah! Right, okay, so like, there's a lot of vehicles here. I don't... The cargo, I don't, I don't really... Is this how much cargo has been carried up and down? That's clever. That's really clever. I think. I, I don't really understand how this could be a helpful thing. I'm sure that it will be, but in our towns now it's a lot easier to see which is blue, which is yellow. I like this. So look, we've got lots going on down here, lots down here. Uh, the residential area. If you could just build further away that would be lovely so we don't have to redirect our trucks. But Atlanta, you don't actually have a lot of noise, do you? Oh, it's poor. How oh, is it poor? Oh, because the trains go past the residential areas. Well, I'm not being funny, but you lived there before the train station was built, so how is that my fault? Oh, we also have lots of bricks with flipping heck, Atlanta bricks. Yeah, we, we could do with a few more of you, couldn't we? Right, we'll mass clone you. That's good. And then we've got some... We've, have we got more food going out? No, the food is under control. It's just the bricks situation that's uh, that's a little bit... Are they all stuck somewhere? How come... I guess we've got a lot of trucks producing bricks, haven't we? But I want to get some goods to Montgomery, because this is like our little... This could be a really busy area, couldn't it? I mean, this, Atlanta's growing at a right rate of knots. Have we got a town list? Can we see who's the biggest town? Uh, yeah, Atlanta is the biggest town. How did that happen? That's mental. <coughs> right, so... Okay, the aim of this episode is going to be getting some goods to Montgomery. Where makes goods, I hear you ask? I do not know. Here, Cincinnati Goods Factory. Right, so we need to... We're, we're sticking with the kind of theme of that we're only going to extend from our current network. So actually, I need to build this in reverse, which is going to be a bit weird. Um, hang on, because we might be able to get away with that. So we need some steel. Where can we make steel? Steel can be made here. No, that's machines. You idiot. Uh, steel can be made elsewhere. Tools can be made there, that's good to know. Plastic is from here, because we had loads of problems in the last series with getting plastic across, didn't we? But plastic we can make there, for there, and steel can be made here. So that's actually quite, I mean, we could probably truck that, to be honest with you. We could probably do it all by truck instead of train. Yeah, but I would quite like some... You see, these are quite close, aren't they? So I think we could do that with lorries. Now, how are we producing you? We've got coal there. We've got iron ore nowhere. So iron ore might actually have to come in by drain. Right, okay. 
Right, well, let's get a goods train built first of all. So Montgomery, you are like the goods place, aren't you? You need goods. So it might be an idea to actually put a line in. While we've, you know, demolished the town completely, should we should we put a goods line in? Because we're not going to have any residential at all. I mean, I, I like your thinking. Put a goods line in. Where? <laughs> just, just slap one in. It'll be fine. We could we could pop you in there, hypothetically. It'd be a bit of a... Uh, Bit of a, a sharp curve round. Or we could use a terminus for goods. Yeah, like that. We could do that. Yeah, let's do that. Facing the wrong way, you idiot. Yes, I know it's facing the wrong way, but it's fine. Right, so what we'll do is we will... Are you going uphill, downhill, no hill? Okay, right. Keep you at 50. I know we, we don't really have a lot of fast freight trains, but we do want to uh, ideally keep this at some sort of speed to get out of the way of the express. There we go. Now, signals, are you all fine? Yeah, we'll put a few more, a couple more in there, right? Put you there, you there, and we'll have a signal there just for, you know, good measure. Bring you across. And we'll just basically sweep it round into the station. There we go. 35 will do. There. I mean, it's it's pretty ugly, but it gets the job done, doesn't it? So, we're going to go up here, through Atlanta, obviously. And then we need to branch off to the left to go over here. Uh, right, okay. That is achievable, probably. How about... If we build a goods line that avoids it... Cause, no, well, no, because we could have a passenger line up to Cincinnati as well, couldn't we? Uh, that might involve going into a tunnel. Might involve going into a tunnel. Uh, right, okay. What we'll do is we'll have the tunnel. We'll build it as a freight line, I think. I know it's a passenger line because it's coming out of a passenger station and there's a lot happening. Why are you not snapping off? There we go, snap on. Now, how's that going to work? Because I want you to be in a tunnel, but then I want you to split off. There we go, because I want the tunnel to look quite nice. Like that, there we go. We'll, we'll just do that so that, you know, it saves... Ah, oh, lovely, look at that. That's nicer than two separate doodars at the end, isn't it? So obviously that line's going to go down here, and that's fine. We've also got the line coming from Tallahassee, which is going to fly up there. Okay, that'll all connect nicely. So you're going to actually be quite a fast line, I think. If we keep you flat, where are you going to pop out? Are you going to pop out there? That's quite a long tunnel. But I mean... Oh, it actually pops out there as well, so it's not as long a tunnel. This is... Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to look pretty good. So Cincinnati will have you winding up there. We'll also have a line round to... I mean, we've got a line that can go up there, haven't we? So there's, there's quite a lot of potential for traffic, passenger and freight. There we go. We'll build you as a two-track. I really ought to... But people did mention your two-track main lines, Joe. That's very European. You know, you, you should think more about your... Uh, about things that, you know, the, the single track, bit of that. But, I mean, the, the problem is, is your trains are just too frequent on this to, to warrant just single track, aren't they, a lot of the time. Right, what are we doing with this? So we need a station here to take our goods, but the plastic and the steel are going to come from trucks, probably. So we don't actually need that many stations, platforms. We'll put two in. There we go. We'll, we'll pop a road along here. Yeah, like that. Connect. Oh, no, hang on. Connect, connect you up to there. And then we'll build you up there so that we can, uh, yeah, we can, we can stick you on there. That's better. And that's good. Now, in terms of what's happening with the passengers at Cincinnati, I do not know. But it's fine. Right, we'll link you on to there. You can have a... Uh, I mean, that'll all be changed, won't it, when uh, when we do start running passenger traffic down here. This won't be the main line into here. We'll have to... Oh, no! Tunnel! Why has that happened? Right, okay. Oh, we can change that later. Okay, we'll have a bit of 40. 
bit of 40. Lovely. Right, so you're extended onto the network, which means I can get my trucks going. You need a, a doodah over here. Could also do with some sort of cross track. Yeah. How about 40? What, what have we got down the other end in terms of speed? That's probably 40, isn't it? So we'll, we'll bring you across. Yeah, lovely. Bring you across. Oh, you, you're not in favour of a diamond crossing. What have I done down here? Well, you did a diamond crossing. Why will you not do a diamond crossing? I think that's very, uh, very, very obstructive of you, track. That's annoying. Why would you do that to me? I've been nothing but kind to you, and you've, you've, you've diddling me. Ah, right, oh, hang on, no, that was a collision. Welcome to Transport Fever, folks. This is, uh, this is... Oh, hang on, did, did we have something? This is like the rest of the episode now, is just kind of messing about with bits of track. Ah, right, okay, so you'll, you'll happily do that. And I don't really see why we'd need that, but, you know, and we could just stick a, a doodah in here. Could we? No, nope, curvature is not possible, and I think the game's crashed. Oh, for crying out loud. Yeah, it does. It doesn't appear to want to put a junction in a tunnel. That's uh, that is too much. Yeah, we've got the the blue swivelly circle, and the game's gone. For goodness' sake! Right, try again in a minute. Right, so we're back in Atlanta after our crash. Unfortunately, uh, we did lose quite a lot of what we did. We lost all this track building up here, so I've had to go in and relay that. And whilst I was uh, just pressing the re-record button, I've realised I've forgotten to put this chap in down here, so we'll, uh, we'll just pop him in with our insanely ugly junction, there we go, pop you on the corner, uh, I know you've seen this already, so we'll just whack it in rather quickly, uh, did we say 50? I think we did, didn't we, there we go, 50, and uh, yeah, 65, why not treat ourselves, bring you round there, yeah, lovely, 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 bit of 30, maybe even 40, there we go, why not. 40, what are you doing? 40, yeah, lovely. Right, oh, even better, we've got a better, uh, we've got a better connection there, because that's 40 instead of 35. So there we go, we'll stick a couple of you doodars on there. And we've got our line connecting uh, Cincinnati to Montgomery. Okay, so, how are we going to get plastic made with trucks? How are we going to get uh, steel made with trucks? Well, I'll tell you what, let's get our, uh, let's get our trucks First of all, for the coal, so we can actually start delivering some steel. Because coal is easy to make. Uh, the iron ore, that's going to have to come in by train. Where from is anybody's guess. Um, I'm sure we'll find some somewhere. Possibly. Shout if you can see the iron ore, everybody. Uh, right, we've got the coal there. Iron ore will be, like, really far away, won't it? I can just... I've, I've, oh, right, okay. So we've got some iron ore up at Thunder Bay. That is quite a distance. But that's fine, we like a good lengthy train, don't we? Um, any iron ore over here? Do you know what would be easier is just clicking on the actual flipping thing. Suppliers, there we go. So we've got, oh, we've got one iron ore mine on the whole map. Excellent. Excellent. Right, okay. Uh, we're not going to make an awful amount of steel then, are we, if we've only got one iron ore mine? Um, mm, yeah, okay, so we're, yeah, that's the one. And of course, industries aren't founding themselves. Oh, do they, do they just... Yeah, I think there was some sort of thing. Did they say that industries would now create themselves randomly and shut down if you weren't using them? Or is that... Have I imagined that? I don't know. I don't know. Right, okay. Well, unfortunately, you are far too curvy uh, for my liking, so we'll have to get rid of you. I mean, this, this city here is... Uh, we'll get rid of all of you, and then we could perhaps, will will that work? Yeah, if I just stick you on to there, that will work. Okay, right, because that actually looks pretty good. And then we'll, we'll put a little curve in here, 
Yeah, I know. I, I didn't really want to go with the curb, but we'll, we'll put new wing. Oh no, no, we can we can make it straight. There we go. Lovely, brilliant, super. I've used the town road as well. That wasn't what was meant to happen. For goodness' sake. <coughs> Sorry, it's it's the shock of the iron ore mine, and there have only been one of them that is just it's a bit too much to comprehend. Right, so we're going to need a large thing for coal. Uh, right, 30 metres. Yeah, that's lovely. I love how it always offers you the tram tracks, doesn't it? Um, right, we need we need a thing for the iron ore. So we're gonna we're gonna put you there. Lovely. Slightly skew width, but never mind. Oh, do you know what? We'll we'll line it up with the road because I know that you'll all be very upset if I don't line it up with that road. Uh, so we'll put you on there. Oh, we've unlocked big things, hoppers. Do you know what? That is brilliant because you know we've we've got a. An iron ore thing to build. We've got new trucks. Oh, that's brilliant. Happy with that. We're going to also have a long train with no catenary because we've not unlocked it yet. There we go. Let's just stick you on there. Lovely. The train can run alongside the road. Ooh, nice. Um, right, so you're going to go from there. You're going to get some coal up here. Charleston, we don't want... Uh, yeah, you see, you're going to probably have to be quite windy because you're going up a big hill. But what we will do is we will build a street that avoids all the residential zones in Charleston. There we go. Ooh, too curvy. Uh, right. Try that. How's that looking? It's looking amazing. Absolutely immense. Brilliant. Right, okay. I want you as a bigger road then. Because you're going to need to be a bigger road. And I think we'll treat ourselves to a bigger road here. Oh, no. No, you're, uh, you're a smaller road. There you go. You're a smaller road. And we'll, we'll have a bigger road there, so that that all, all sort of works out. Charleston's not a particularly pretty looking city, is it, on this? Never mind. Right, let's get some coal stuff running. And I know that I said, I, do, I am acutely aware that I did say, we will only add on to our current network. But I think that we have actually added on to our current network here, haven't we? Because that's going to go down there. We're going to have trucks running down there. So it's all going to work. Uh, now, you're going to receive both of those. Cincinnati, you'll need goods. So, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll put this as quite a, a sizable station. Because there's going to be quite a lot of stuff coming in and out, isn't there? We'll pop it there, so we've got absolutely no room to expand over this way. Yep, sensible. I mean, it'd be better putting it on the main road, wouldn't it? But never mind. We can actually get goods going to Cincinnati straight away before we uh, take down to Montgomery. Clever. By truck. Love it. Right, so we need a depot. Charleston, congratulations, you're going to be the depot place, the depot town. We'll put it on our little uh, little road here. And the reason for that is it's just central to everything that's going on. We can use that Charleston depot for the steel, because that's there. We can use it for the plastic, which is there. You know, it's, it's just nice and straightforward, isn't it? Nice and easy. Um, oh, no, we're going to have to mess around with oil as well, aren't we? Flipping heck. Right, we'll pop you on there. Cincinnati to uh, to Montgomery. There we go. You can kind of go whichever way you fancy through there if you like. <coughs> Excuse me. That'll do. Have you got a double slip switch? Yeah, you have. Right, okay. That's fine. So you will be the uh, train. Montgomery goods. Lovely. Are we... Are we yeah, I've, I've clicked. Oh, autosave, right, okay, yeah, I get it. I understand autosave. Oh, what's happened there? Has it, has it done it? Train Montgomery Goods, right, okay, there we go. And then, so that it's definitely added onto the network, we'll do it in reverse. Uh, and then down here we want the, the yeah, Pittsburgh Cincinnati, so that will be the truck. Cincinnati Steel. And then you will be the yeah, there to there. Lovely. Oh, I've not got enough things in there. That's annoying. Oh, we'll just have one dropping off stand then. All right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that will be the truck. Pittsburgh coal. Oh, we have got enough things because we don't need an iron ore because that's coming by train. Yeah, of course it is. Sensible. Right, okay. So, we need some trucks on there. 
We're going to have one of you. You can carry steel. That's exciting. Uh, you can carry steel. Right, okay. So we'll have ten trucks. Possibly. Yeah, that's fine. And you're going to go on the, uh, the, the, the Cincinnati steel. Ten of you. And then have we got hopper trucks here? No, we haven't. Right, okay. We're going to have 20 trucks on there, because I think we need 20. You can go on the Pittsburgh coal. Yep. Do you know what? You on the steel, treat yourself. Let's have another 10 trucks. Don't know if we need 10 trucks, but we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll treat ourselves to 10 trucks. It's quite a long way, isn't it? And there's not many of them. Are we, uh, you're, a, you're a little road. There you go, you're a bigger road now. Are you happy? Probably not. Nobody's happy on this flipping game, are they? Right, there we go. You're uh, you're looking good. What we will do as well is we'll, we'll build you out there. We'll build you all the way over as like a little... Completely not necessary, but it kind of gives this weird bend of purpose, doesn't it? Lovely. Oh, smashing. Right. So we need to uh, we need to crack on with getting some iron ore over here. Okay, where's the iron ore? It's up here somewhere, isn't it? Uh, b b b there you are. So we're going to come down through Duluth, Minneapolis. Oh no, we should have done some like passenger lines or something here because this is going to look really weird. Uh, Saint Louis, down through Nashville. Uh, yeah, and then we're going to come. A Cross from St. Louis to... Or maybe we should... Oh, dear. This is a nightmare. Who decided this was a brilliant idea? I don't know. I'm blaming one of you. Uh, right. So we'll stick you on there anyway. You're not connected up to anywhere by road. This looks like an absolute swamp around here, doesn't it? Um, the sensible place for an iron ore mine. You know, where the ground could cave in at any moment because it's a swamp. So what we're going to do is we'll just plan a random route. And then at any time, if we do want passenger lines, we'll we'll just edit this, won't we? We'll we'll just change it. You know, we can change this line. We can cause disruption. It's fine. It's all fine. This is going to be like a, a sticking with the land one, right? There we go. So 60 round there. We're going to come down the side. We'll even. Do you know what? We'll treat ourselves. Have a little. Have a little of that. There we go. Little level crossing. Lovely. We're going to go down to Minneapolis, like that, and we'll go round the side. There we go, we'll come round here. Lovely. And there we go, treat ourselves to a bit of that. I don't know quite how these bridges are looking, I'm just kind of banging them in any old how. But of course, what this allows is that if we want a passenger station, we can just do a little bit of witchcraft with this trap work. And then, we, you know, we could do something here, have a station on the outskirts, Minneapolis Parkway, if you will. Uh, we'll come down to Madison, Chicago, Indianapolis, and into Cincinnati that way. Cincinnati is wrong, because we don't want to go to Cincinnati. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, in fact, what we could do, if we bring you across to Madison like this, we'll pop you across like that, lovely. Brilliant, big viaduct, ooh. Uh, you will have a train going round there, of course, Milwaukee. You can be 75, we'll bring you... It's, it's, 75 is rather high speed for the Americans, they're, they're not really very quick when it comes to their railways, are they? They like to take things slow. Now, are you going to bridge over that road? You are! Oh, look at that. It's pretty. It's pretty. Uh, right, okay. Indianapolis, you're going to come down here. Yep, lovely, lovely. Come across again. There's a lot of big viaducts on this, isn't there? Okay, not really. I would like to have the American-style bridges, but we've not unlocked them yet, so... Uh... Right, you're gonna, yeah, you, you're gonna, uh, how are we getting you round to, to there? We'll just send you direct, there we go. And we'll actually, because we were on about Cincinnati, weren't we? Because we can have the passenger station here and that can kind of fold in with this. And this will just, this will just nicely... Pop over here. Were we two tracking this? I can't remember. I think I've just single tracked it the whole way, haven't I? Right, we'll bring you to there, and then you can just tuck across here quite nicely. Now, does that if does that go? Oh, that has to go really uphill, doesn't it? 
of the road. Okay, well, what we'll do is we'll, we'll just put you back a bit. Yep. We'll get this done nicely. There we go. No, I didn't want that. I, I want you to be a straight bit of track. Okay, I'm not sure that you're understanding the meaning of straight bit of track. Is that working? Oh, it's as good as I'm getting, isn't it? 35. Shove you in the station there. Lovely. Okay, we'll delete a couple of you. Yeah, lovely, lovely. That is brilliant. Another bridge, why not? We've got enough of the uh, the sodding things, haven't we? There we go. So we've got that line connected. We are going to get some trains running on it in the next episode. What are we doing in the next episode? We are going to be continuing to work on the goods production for Montgomery because I really want uh, these goods to come about. And of course, we might even get some passenger services running in and about as we see fit. Yeah, that's uh, that's exciting stuff. Well, thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you have enjoyed this video today. If you have, do of course click that like button. It's always appreciated. And if you've got any fantastic ideas, things that I've missed for instance, uh, do of course let me know in the comments. It's proof that I got rid of this red flashing thing that I do read your comments because there were people that were very upset by it. So, uh, there we go. Do subscribe if you haven't already, if you're enjoying the video, if you're enjoying the series, you want to keep up with it, because I'd hate for you to miss out. And uh, other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.